Hey guys, Randy with a low buck LS here again. And this week I'm gonna work on something a little different. I'll be working on this Ford Focus that my daughter just bought. Um, yeah, she bought a used car. She's about to uh, get her license here. And uh, so she bought this car, got it home, and the air conditioning doesn't work. So I'm going to attempt, I've got this uh, Red Tech 12A and this uh, pressure gauge and hose manifold type thing. So we're going to motorbike driving by. Always happens when you turn on the camera. Noisy diesel truck will, will drive by or the air, com air compressor will kick on or furnace will kick on or something and something will uh, show up to uh, make a noise and disturb your video. But anyways, um, if you uh, want to see if this actually works, we're going to try top up the refrigerant in this 2001 Ford Focus and uh, see if that actually makes a difference and gets it to blow cold air. So stick around, we'll get right into it. All right, so like I said, we're gonna try and get the air conditioning blowing cold air, if we can, uh, in this 2001 Ford Focus. And this is what we're gonna use. I've got this Red Tech 12A refrigerant, two cans of it, and this uh, hose assembly that goes on the can. Now, normally if you take, if you were to take the car to a shop, they would hook up a machine to evacuate all the old coolant out um, before you put the new stuff in. Um, but I don't have one of those machines. Um, I've thought about buying one, um, the kind with the vacuum pump to uh, pull a vacuum on the air conditioning system, but I don't have one yet. And they are a little hard to find up here in Canada. Um, I was thinking of buying one to do this video, but couldn't get one in time. So we're gonna do it without vacuuming out the system and just see if uh, topping it up with a can or two of this Red Tech 12A refrigerant will uh, get this car to blow cold air so first thing i'm going to do is uh, set up a temperature sensor in the, the vent of the vehicle and see what the temperature of the air blowing out of the vents is right now and then we'll see uh, we'll do our little procedure here and see if it improves all right so we're in the car i've got the car running at idle about 800 rpm and I've got this temperature sensor uh, stuffed into the uh, air conditioning vent here, hooked up to this instrument. So right now it is blowing 106 degree Fahrenheit air. Oh, yes, I know, I don't have my seatbelt on. This car has like the loudest seatbelt alarm ever. Temperature is going up and down a bit, but basically it's blowing hotter than ambient air even though uh, AC is on, recirc is on, temperature is on its coolest. We've got the fan in the middle there and we're blowing 106 degree Fahrenheit air out the vent. So we're gonna shut the car off and uh, see if we can improve that. All right so first thing we did here to uh, work on this air conditioning issue is I had to find the low pressure port and it's actually it's kind of hard to see but in behind the uh, fender liner I'm on the passenger side front wheel there's this silver canister and right up at the top there you can see is the connection to uh, right there the connection to hook up this hose and gauge assembly and you can see on the gauge there is zero pressure on that system right now so we're gonna shake up one of these cans of the red tech stuff and uh, put it on to this assembly here there's like a needle valve in there that pierces the, the fitting on the top of this can here so I'm gonna shake one up thread it onto here 
and then slowly open this valve and we should see the pressure on this gauge come up. So working by myself today, so I'm probably just gonna have to show you the gauge when it's done here. A little tough to hold the camera and do this at the same time. But we'll come back when we've got her uh, pressured up here. All right, so I ran into some problems with this hose I was using. It wasn't letting any of this uh, refrigerant through. So I ended up going to buy a different hose assembly. Um, I'm hoping that one will work. Um, it, it seems to, uh, at least when I open the valve, some refrigerant comes out of the end there. So I'm gonna try to hook that one up. Uh, I've already put a container of the oil. Let me grab it here. This uh, ultra cool oil lube. I put a container of that in. So now we're gonna try add the, the actual refrigerant. So that's what we'll do next. So it's a little hard to see this gauge because of where it is in the fender well, but with that oil, that's brought up the pressure in the system to just under 30 pounds. So I'm gonna start the car and turn on the air conditioning and then um, try and uh, charge the system up with this uh, refrigerant. Actually, I'm gonna do the first little bit with the engine off. Again, we'll try and see that gauge. And if I turn this valve in a bit, you'll start to hear the refrigerant going in and the gauge going up. stop right there because we're getting close to the yellow now we'll start up the car and see if the air conditioning clutch which is way down not this pulley right here but the one underneath it see if there's enough pressure on the system for that to kick on now so we got the car running you can hear that air conditioning clutch cycling off and on and the pressure gauge going up and down so I think we're gonna have to add a little bit more. This refrigerant can is pretty well empty. So I've got more cans over there. I'm gonna hook up another one and pump a bit more into the system. Try and get that pressure up to the point where that uh, compressor is uh, not cycling off and on like that. All right, so I've added some more in. Now that air compressor uh, or air conditioning compressor staying running all the time, you can see we're upper, at the upper edge of the green arc here, about 45 pounds or so. Uh, now let's go around to the inside of the car. Let's see. Blowing cold air. Instead of having 106 degree Fahrenheit uh, air coming out the vents, we've got 57 degree Fahrenheit air. It is at least temporarily fixed. And just wanted to show you guys a little more here by turning on the recirc. And actually by turning down the fan, the temperature is actually dropped even more we're in the low 40s now as far as the temperature of the air coming out of the vent so just goes to show you that and watch if I turn the heater up one notch or the fan up the temperature is actually going to go up so you want the coolest coldest air coming out of your vents it's actually on a lower fan setting temperature actually goes down so that's interesting but anyways air conditioning seems to be working good now putting out uh, air in the low 40 degrees Fahrenheit if we watch it a little longer it might even get into the 30s but it's nice and comfortable in the car now so like I said uh, we'll call that a success
looks like we got this air conditioning working reasonably well so we're gonna wrap this one up thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe and we'll talk to you on the next one bye for now